Have you ever wondered if planes can fly in the rain? Here's some things that you may not know. Number one, rain versus thunderstorms. Normally flying in rain isn't a problem for planes, but whether a plane takes offs and lands during rain depends on if the rain is coming from a thunderstorm or not. Weather from thunderstorms including wind shear can be dangerous for planes, and even though planes usually don't sustain damage from a lightning strike, lightning can also cause delays. Ground operations such as loading bags and fueling are also stopped when lightning is close to the airport. The rain itself doesn't damage planes. Planes are made to fly in different kinds of weather, including rain. Flying through rain clouds can even be smooth. Number 2. Air Traffic Control Delays Rain caused air traffic control delays. When the visibility is reduced, it requires planes to land using instrument landing systems. When this occurs, planes must be spaced further apart. At some of the largest airports that operate close to maximum capacity, rain can cause some long delays. An instrument approach is where the pilots fly an approach to landing with reference to instruments inside the aircraft instead of visually. Some instrument approaches allow planes to land when there is zero visibility, although this is normally done for conditions such as fog. Number 3. Wet Runways One of the added challenges between a dry and a wet runway is that a wet runway requires more distance to stop during landing or a rejected takeoff. For takeoff, an airplane must have enough runway distance to accelerate to almost takeoff speed and then either continue the takeoff or stop if there's a problem with the plane. When the runway is wet or slippery, the distance it takes to speed up and then stop again is much higher. The distance goes up even more on runways that are covered in snow or ice. Number 4. Wind Shear Wind shear is a sudden change in the speed or direction of the wind. Most wind shear happens during thunderstorms and not from light rain showers. Wind shear is mostly a concern when a plane takes off or lands, which is when it is closest to the ground. Most airports and airplanes have wind shear detection systems to avoid this. Number 5. Weather Radar Weather radar is a useful tool that can map the immediate area and pinpoint the location and strength of storms, then find a route to avoid any severe weather areas. Pilots can use this information to determine if it is safe to take off, and if so, the route that will work best. When pilots use weather radar, they can see a display showing the location and intensity of precipitation in the area around the plane. The display is color-coded, with different colors representing different levels of water droplets. For example, a green color is light rain, yellow is moderate rain, while a red color is heavy rain. Number 6. Freezing Rain Winter storms are important considerations as they can cause ice on the runway, making more challenging for aircraft to gain traction. During snow and other cold weather operations, planes must be de-iced before taking off. De-icing is where the ground crew sprays heated fluid on the wings to remove the snow and prevent fresh snow from sticking to the wings during takeoff. Pilots must also make sure their runway conditions are good enough for takeoff and landing, as the distance planes need goes up by a lot when the runway is slippery. Number 7. Small Planes versus Commercial Aircraft Small private planes and private pilots will sometimes have more of a challenge flying in rain and clouds than the large aircraft of the airlines due to their limited equipment and training. To fly in the clouds, a private pilot needs to have an instrument rating, which is the pilot certification that lets a pilot fly in the clouds. Once someone gets their private pilot's license, adding the instrument rating takes almost as long as just getting the initial private pilot certificate. Then to be current, a private pilot must have recent experience flying in low clouds or simulated conditions. Most of the time, this means making a certain number of flights and instrument approaches in a certain amount of time. So to recap, planes can usually safely fly in rain, but there are some extra challenges. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe for future aviation.